So uh, thank you all for joining us for these remote admitted students days. Um, my name is Teresa Mayers and I'm an associate professor of anthropology here at the University of Vermont. And I'd just like to share a little bit about our department with you um, so that you have all the information that you need um, as you're deciding which college to attend. Um, so uh, something to know about our department is that we're a really interdisciplinary program in and of itself. Anthropology as a field is really interdisciplinary. Um, with our department, we have all four subfields represented, archaeology, biocultural anthropology, linguistics, and um, cultural anthropology. And what we allow our students to do is really to get um, training in all of those areas to think about asking really critical questions, um, developing information and knowledge about the world around them, and really developing a really holistic sense of what anthropology brings to the world and what the world brings to anthropology. Um, so all of our majors get exposure to all of those four subfields, and um, from then they might choose to specialize or focus on those two or maybe one area where they really find a whole lot of resonance for their um, own career goals or professional goals. So we have um, a Bachelor of Arts and, as I'll talk about in a second, a Bachelor of Science. Um, and students can choose to focus in any of those four subfields, again, archaeology, biological or biocultural anthropology, cultural anthropology, and linguistic anthropology. And we also have a number of different concentrations like archaeology and heritage management, global health, and social action, which allow students to really then topically focus on the areas that they're um, the most interested in. Our department also has a minor and um, combines really well with a number of different majors on campus. And so whether you're interested in sort of uh, area studies um, or perhaps a language, there's a lot of ways of combining anthropology with other degrees and programs in the College of Arts and Sciences. We also have a Bachelor of Science in Anthropology, which allows those students who are um, really interested in the scientific side um, or the physical scientific side of um, anthropology to focus in on specifically things like archaeological sciences, biological sciences, um, and some of the areas of medical anthropology and health. Um, this major is um, a new one for us, although one that students have uh, been really excited about for some time. And what we're seeing is that it's excellent preparation for students who might have interest in going into the fields of health or doing um, some kind of scientific research down the road. Um, we do have a really close relationship with the Consulting Archaeology Program, which was established in 1978. Um, John Crock, who is a professor here in the department, is the director of that program. And our students are really fortunate because they have the opportunity to do internships um, and get credit or work-study opportunities um, with Consulting Archaeology Program. Um, allowing them to get really hands-on experience doing archaeological digs, um, experience with cultural resources management, and it's right across um, campus from us. And so um, we've seen a number of students getting really involved in CAP and giving them all the skills and the tools that they need for um, future careers in archaeology. Um, our students are uh, fortunate, I think, as many College of Arts and Sciences students are, in that there's a lot of opportunities for experiential learning. Um, University of Vermont is really known as an important institution nationally for um, encouraging and creating space for students to do internships, do undergraduate research, um, get involved in clubs and organizations, and doing study abroad. And so our students um, are very involved in all of those areas. And because our major is a flexible one in that it's not a strict sequence of courses, but rather number of courses that you take at different levels, um, carving out the time and the opportunity for doing study abroad or internships is something that's really feasible for our students. Um, and they go everywhere. Um, we have students going to Bolivia and Jordan and Belize and different countries in Europe. Um, and I think um, I've not heard of one country yet, except for maybe North Korea, um, where students are not studying. Um, and it's really an exciting opportunity for students to really develop these um, skills and understandings that they're developing in our anthropology courses um, in different field sites. And it's something that we not only support, but we actively encourage. 
So we um, support students doing internships. These are some recent ones, um, the Consulting Archaeology Program being one, but also the Vermont Folk Life Center, the Fleming Museum, um, different media groups like CCTV, which is our local TV station. And students can do credit-based internships and also do paid internships. Um, we have uh, two separate courses that allow students to do internships for credit. And something um, that we really encourage, especially our advanced students, um, to do as they get ready for moving on after graduation. Um, just a small feature about Jenna Ingersoll, who's uh, one of our um, soon-to-be graduates, um, has done some really great research in Jordan where she's able to connect in with archaeological fieldwork. Um, and it's something that is not unique, um, that we see a lot of our students uh, developing these kinds of experiences and skills, which in my mind really complement um, being an anthropology major. So um, a good thing to know is that UVM's anthropology department is one of the largest undergraduate only departments in the country. We don't have a graduate program. And what that means for students is that they are being taught um, primarily, if not entirely, by um, faculty in our department. Um, we do have a number of really great faculty members that join us, such as uh, Jess Robinson, who's the state archaeologist, but we don't have um, graduate students teaching our classes, um, and so that allows a lot of really close one-on-one -on -one, uh, connection and communication with our faculty members. Uh, we have a very active anthropology club. Um, they do a number of different things, but one of the things they found most exciting in recent years is to join um, uh, academic meetings like the American Anthropological Association Conference, which happened a couple of years ago. Um, they were hoping to go last year, but it was in Vancouver, so it was a little bit further away than Washington, D.C. Um, but we do have a really active anthropology club that supports students um, in their professional development, but also in just forming a community here in the department. Um, great picture of our graduating seniors in a recent year. Um, we're a large program, um, a growing program, and um, are really excited to work with students, whether they're majors or they're minors, or they're taking anthropology classes as part of their social science or diversity requirements or their sustainability requirements. So please be in touch if you are interested in learning any more about our department. Um, again, you can reach out to me directly. Um, my name is Teresa Mares, and I am, a, again, a cultural anthropologist working mostly on issues of migration and food studies. Um, but you can direct emails to our general anthro at uvm.edu, and we are excited to hopefully see uh, your faces this fall. Thanks so much.